Especially the devil. Knee on the downrigger. So today I'm going to go over five ways to improve your kayak kokanee game. So I'm going to cover five things you could do to really increase your catch rate of kokanee. Hopefully this will get the first one in the boat today and get uh, get this started. It's a nice fish. Alright, first kokanee in the boat. There you go, fish number one. Now we're going through another big school of kokanee here on the fish finder. I am monster school of kokanee. I wouldn't be surprised to see that downrigger go off any second now. There you go, look at that school. Huge, huge school. So that's the first thing I would recommend that any kayak angler can do. That is to add a fish finder slash GPS chart plotter into their kayak because that's going to give you several things. One's going to help you actually locate fish, so where on the lake are the fish, how deep are those fish, and it's also going to give you your trolling speed. So remember these kokanee are very sensitive to troll speeds, so you want those troll speeds to be between one and one and a half miles per hour in general. There's fish in the down right here. Yep. So the second recommendation I'm going to make is, and I generally don't like to rag on the paddle kayak anglers, but upgrading to pedal or power driven kayak makes a big difference because it frees up your hands to run multiple rods. Oh, lost them right in the boat. And just gives you that opportunity to catch more fish, simplify things. You're not fighting the paddle as much. You don't get nearly as many tangles. So I definitely recommend that if you can upgrading to pedal or power. Nice, another one on the downrigger. So the second thing I recommend, which is why I kind of recommended having pedal and power kayaks, is that you want to upgrade to two rods. Um, it's just so much easier to handle two rods when you're out of a pedal or a powered kayak, you don't have to worry about uh, the paddle getting in the way. And as you can see today, I'm one rod is definitely catching the vast majority of these fish. Now let me cover. Let me cover a couple different depths um, at the same time as well too. So it really does make a difference. I highly recommend upgrading the two rods. I use these RAM HD rod holders with the extenders. It really allows me to spread my gear out and uh, also bring the rods back to me and make them very easy to reach as well. That's not a bad fish there. I'll take that. Another tip I can make for one running two rods is to run a left hand reel on this side and a right hand reel on this side. This comes in handy when you're running droppers and you hook up. There's a fish right there. <laughs> When you have those left and right hand retrieve, you can actually reel up the other rod if you're worried about snagging on the bottom if you're fishing fairly shallow like I am today. Stay down there with your token. No. Another one in the kayak. There's fish. Now the fourth way you can definitely up your game is to use line counter reels. This gives you the ability to. Oops. I think I might have two fish on. Yep. 
This gives you the ability to reproduce your results time and time again, especially if you're running droppers. But even on your setbacks and such, it's really good to have. Oh no, I got the dead tangle. Yeah, we'll sort that out and get it up here. There you go. He's off. There you go. There's fish on the downer here again. And well, it's obvious today that uh, installing a downrigger would be my number five suggested upgrade. I've always been very anti-downrigger. I just felt like there wasn't space for them on the kayaks that I fished from. But with this Autopilot 120, it's plenty big. Uh, I've got plenty of space. It's plenty stable. I feel safe having a downrigger on it. And it's very easy for me to deploy it and utilize it. And it's been catching all the fish today. Big school kokanee. Come on, fish. Oh, come on, guy. Maybe if I wiggle it. Wiggle to the left. There we go. Nice. Gotta do the dance, the kokanee dance. Oh, and right there. Ooh. Oh, now he woke up. <laughs> Wow, that was hilarious. So there's my five tips for increasing your kokanee catch rate from a kayak. I'll put links to everything I discussed in the video today, including links on how I installed this downrigger on my autopilot. Uh, that's on a collaboration video I did with Old Town Canoe and Kayak. And I'll see you next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.